Today we're going to take a look at using the accelerometer and our devices like our phones in order to control what's going on on our screen. All right, so I'm just starting out here with a simple scene. I have my control node here, and then I've got a label that, since I don't have a font, I've just up the scale up to 10 times. So the text here is, of course, going to be blurry since we're not using an actual font and changing the font size. And then I just have a uh, kinematic body 2D with a sprite attached to it. That way we can use that as our example to get a visual of what's going on. All right, so in here, what we're going to do is we're going to use this label here, and we're going to have this display, uh, the changing number of what's going on with our accelerometer. And our goal here is, like you saw in the intro, we're going to make our little sprite here uh, rotate with our accelerometer. So as we rotate our phone to the left, it's going to start spinning or rotating to the left counterclockwise. And if we turn our, our phone to the right, or tilt it to the right rather, it's gonna spin to the right clockwise. So how do we do this? Well, first I'm gonna add a script onto my control node. And we're gonna go ahead in there, and just here in the process, I'm just gonna go ahead and constantly set the label text. So we get our label, and get the text property. And I'm gonna set that to our accelerometer, but I only want to set it to the X property because the accelerometer is going to give us a vector three property. So we have our tilting left and right and up and down. And then the third one is always going to be negative. It's like a gravity. So that's like always telling us what direction gravity is if we ever needed that. But anyway, of course we don't, but, uh, I don't want decimal numbers, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to round that, but it has to be a string, of course, because it's a text. And I'm going to round that out, so we have round, open, close parentheses, inside of a uh, string, str, open, close parentheses. And inside of our round, we're going to add in the parameters input dot get accelerometer, and we want the x value so dot x and of course at this point if you want to increase this further you could then multiply this by a speed value if you wanted uh, in my case i'm not going to use that at all we don't want to be spinning too fast especially just to show uh, an example all right so that should be changing with us now with our text now for our kinematic body 2d let's go ahead and add a script onto it and in here, we're going to add, have a variable for, of course, our velocity, because depending on your object, you may want to have that. And we're going to use a move and slide anyway. So I'll just set that to a vector 2.0. And of course, if you wanted to have uh, a gravity in your game, of course, you would go ahead and put that in there. Let's go ahead. We'll put our move, move and slide, and we'll pass in our velocity and our up direction. That way we know which way is up. All right, so now what do we have to do in here? Well, we wanna rotate the kinematic body sprite. So we can go ahead and just call self.rotate. Now this is gonna take radians and radians, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, how many parts is a full circle? And a full circle would be pi, 3.14. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure 3.14 is a full circle. So 3.14 radians. Now, I personally don't like to use radians, uh, when, especially when I just want to do a rotation like this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something called deg to rad, and that's degrees to rad, degrees to radians. And that'll allow me to put in a degrees number. And then the engine here will convert that those degrees into radians to use for rotate. So DEG2, and you see it pop up, deg to rad. And for that argument, we're going to go ahead and do what we did before, input 
dot get accelerometer dot x only we also want that to be rounded out right so we don't want to have any slight issue uh, where it's constantly moving and it's never just like holding still even if we think it's zero it might be like 0 0.01 or something so it might be slightly rotating we don't want that so we're just going to completely round it out so again that's the rotate function Inside of there, we're calling deg to rad to convert our, uh, a no degree number into radians. And inside of that, we're going to round out a number. And the number we're going to round out is our x value of our accelerometer. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So if I go ahead and run this and take a look, we see it's at zero and our object is not spinning, which is kind of a good sign because that means our value has been set to zero but at the same time my screen doesn't have an accelerometer in here so what i've done is we've got i've got blue stacks here on screen so you can take a look and you've already saw this in action with the number changing on my phone so my physical device in the beginning but i can show you here so if we open this up it's zero and if I were to shake it, there we go. So you see we're at negative 10, so we are spinning to the left at negative 10 degrees. So we're spinning to the left by 10 degrees constantly. And of course, if we shake it again, it just constantly goes back to 10. But you see, when we do get a positive number, uh, it does go the other way. And uh, blue stacks there, uh, of course, it's not exactly random, so. It always ends up on negative 10 at the end where it was always spinning to the left. You saw in the opening that it rotates both ways depending on which way you tilt your device. And that'll do it for today, for or today's video. If there's anything you want to see or want help with, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. And maybe we'll do that on the next video.